are just so good. So. All right, here's Grant Fisher. Uh, Grant, out here at the Utah State Championship meet. Grant, I imagine you just think back to your time in high school. What kind of memories does it bring back to you? <laughs> Uh, great memories, yeah. I, I love cross country. It's something that you don't get as a pro very often, and you know, to have a team score, to have something that you're working towards with a group of your friends, it's uh, I miss that stuff. So I loved cross country in high school. I loved it in college, and I miss it now. So yeah, fun coming down here. They had a great day to run. Uh, some of the other divisions yesterday had a bit rougher of a day, but today it was beautiful, and uh, yeah, it's fun to come and watch and uh, check things out. What advice do you have? What advice would you have for your high school self? <laughs> uh, years ago, if you could uh, go back and talk to yourself. Uh, focus on the team first, and your individual goals will f they'll, they'll sort themselves out. So, um, you know, whether your team's really good or not, you know, you can always find a team way to spin your goals. And um, yeah, whether you're trying to get the low stick for your team, or be your fifth man, or be the seventh man, it's uh, it's all good stuff that pushes you up as an individual. So, uh, cross country is fun stuff, and don't take it for granted because it goes away at some point. And you know, you can focus on yourself and track and. It, you know, that season, but cross country, it's about the team. Awesome. Thanks, Grant. Yeah.
and Stryker work together. Catch the screw. Shake out your arm, Stryker. Let's go.
great job. Wow. Great job. 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 Great job.
They started out in a 513, 10.02, two mile, and then just had an absolutely blistering last mile. Can you tell me about the race today? Um, it was, it was awesome. I actually love this course so much. Started up, the beginning of the first mile is really hilly. You come off that into a cruising downhill, which is an awesome feeling. And honestly, it's a great race. I, I love the, I love the course, so yeah. Okay, Jackson's right there with you. Uh, you know, I know, uh, you know, it kind of turned into more conservative race, uh, a little bit more strategic. Uh, yeah. Tell me about what was going on up there between you and Jackson, uh, you guys working together, throwing in surges. How was it, how was it going down? Yeah, no, it was uh, the first mile we stayed really conservative, just kind of just getting ready for the back half because we knew it it would come down to being a state champion. So it, we just stayed conservative, came through, and it is actually way better to run with someone. So I'm actually so glad Jackson was there. So it was awesome. Okay. Well, great job. Uh, and also the team, team element. Tell me about the team today. Uh, we went in with high hopes. They came out second. It's not bad, actually. It's it's pretty good for what we started out as. We we're doing great. So the uh, the track that we're headed is doing is pretty great. So we're happy for it. 44 to 50. I mean, that it almost doesn't get closer than that. Uh, did you guys know it was going to be that close? I knew that it would be really close, but I didn't know who which way it would lean, and I didn't know it would be that close, so yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations today on a great individual performance and team performance. Thank you. Okay, here's Jackson Spencer, second place overall, 14.51, uh, just a blistering fast time today, especially that last mile. Tell me about that last mile in particular. Okay, so that last mile, gosh, that last mile was tough because we were like ramping it up like consistently during that like last mile. I think that like, I don't know, it, it was tough to hang on to the pace, but I did as best I could, so for the day at least. I, mean, I got a 5.13 and then about a 4.50 and then you guys just went all out that yeah. last mile. I know, I wasn't expecting the race that way. I was thinking that maybe we would go like more consistent, but yeah, I, I guess that's how it shook out, so. Uh, team overall uh, champions today, uh, tell me about that as well, kind of the team element. Oh. Today. I was, I was, I'm, I was pretty confident we were gonna win it, but I didn't realize we, how close we were gonna be to American Fork. So I, I think we just gotta be, we gotta lock in a little more than we have been. So. Okay. Well, yeah. it's always great when AF and Harriman match up. You guys, uh, you guys just have a long history of that. Yeah. Uh, and here in the 6A for the state championship, just tell me about something you feel like you've learned this season. Uh, some, some. Uh, Something that you feel like where you've grown? Um, I've, I don't know. So from from 19th at state last year, I was really hoping that I would be able to get up at least in like the top five. I was, I mean, I was going for the win personally, but I, I had a feeling that if, if I wasn't on like my perfect day, I was just going for top five. So I'd say that I was within my goals. So well, great work today. Thank you. Okay, I'm here at Landon Nunley, third place overall today with a 15-15. Yeah. Uh, tell me about the race today, Landon. I don't know, I just kind of came into it with a lot of confidence. I, I think this whole season I've been running well, and then just to come and do it, I, I feel like I was in the right place going into the race and just put myself in a good position and then ran my heart out at the end, and so I'm super proud of myself and super happy with how I ran. Okay, well, great. What's something you feel like you've learned this season? Um, it's never over until it's over. <laughs> Anything's possible. Um, just when you put your mind to something, you can do it. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just stoked. I'm ha so happy right now. Okay, well, congratulations, Landon. Thank you. Absolutely. That was just fun to watch. These are your top ten boys. In sixth place, a senior from American Fork, Carter Moore. In fifth place, a senior from Harriman, Jonah Tang. In fourth place, a senior from Riverton, Christian Roof. In third place, a senior from Riverton, Landon Nudley. Now these next two individuals, they both ran under 15 on this course, which is amazing. Your second place finisher, a junior from Harriman, Jackson Spencer, 14.51. And your 2024 state champ at the 6A level. He's a senior, he ran an outstanding time, 14.45.51 seconds. Again, a senior from American Fork, Mr. Caden Evans.
place. They scored 50 points. The American Fork Cavemen. American Fork coming up. Get your trophy, guys, if you would, please. American Fork guys. Timo, come on up. Timo, get up there. The American Four Cavemen ranked eighth in the country. Ranked number one in the country. They had a team total of 44 points. Harriman High School. Congrats, Harriman High School, on the sixth state championship win. Great job. Great job, everybody. Please escort on the way home.